What up, AOK Mafia? It's your boy Arda Kicks, and just like that, we back with another one. Alright, y'all. So, if y'all notice my left eye here tearing up a bit, um, it's because it was a bit irritated. It was a bit irritated. Something got in my eye. It caused my eye to burn. Caused my eye to burn. So I keep having this one left eye watery, and I'm not crying about nothing because I'm not sad. <laughs> I'm not sad. But anyway, I got to get through this video real quick because I got a buddy of mine who is proficient when it comes to investments, and um, he's helping me set up all my different um, investment stuff. He's not telling me what to invest in, even though I'm looking at his investments and they're doing phenomenal. So I might copy and paste, you know, some of that stuff, but nonetheless. You know, he's just helping me learn more about investments, long-term investments. Um, but anyway, we're about to get through this video. Y'all, this is Mysterious Videos That Remain Unanswered. Shout out to Slap Ham. Make sure y'all go subscribe to my guy. Y'all boys, girls ready? I'm ready. Let's go. Yo, have we seen that before? What happened? What's that? Oh, that's that's a Bigfoot looking thing. How you doing? I'm Callan and this is Slap Ham. Today we're looking at some mysterious videos that are leaving viewers perplexed. So hit that subscribe button and get ready for more creepy content. Just, Just like, like this. this. <laughs> Shadows lurking about when no one's home. How would you know unless you were able to catch them on camera? For YouTuber Hamza Rider, it seems that this nightmare actually came true. Take a look. Oh, what's that? Is that a ghost trying to lay in your baby crib? The YouTuber claims there was no one home when they received a motion alert indicating that someone could have been creeping around their baby's empty crib. No mommies. For the first 10 seconds or so of the video, nothing out of the ordinary occurs. Then, suddenly, a dark shape appears on the left-hand side of the crib. It hovers around for a few seconds before disappearing from view. While one viewer pointed out the fact that the shadow could have simply been caused by anything passing by, the fact that the uploader states that there was no one home at the time certainly seems reason for alarm. The uploader also said that they tried to recreate the movement of the shadow but were unable to do so. If you look closely at the footage you can see that it seems to disappear for a brief moment as it moves. Y'all sure there wasn't a burglar in the bedroom and that was the shadow of it? So could this really have been a ghostly visitor or even a shadow figure? Worse still, was it actually a real life intruder? Yeah. My or would you prefer hovering over your baby's crib? Let me know in the comment section down below. That's a great question. What would I prefer? Would I prefer a ghost or intruder? That's a good question. I'm not sure. Because I feel like an intruder, if they was able to get into my house so easily, so freely, and steal some stuff and leave, they might try to do it again. But a ghost, that's another story too. I don't know. Y'all comment down below. What's your thoughts? If there's one thing that seems consistent with ghostly figures, it's that they like to appear in the background of photos. That was the case with this image shared to Reddit by user Sineman. It looked like there's a face back there. It seems that what should have been a nice family photo showing the Redditor's mother-in-law and her cousin has become somewhat of a spooky heirloom. In it, we see the two individuals posing in the foreground. However, directly in between them, there appears to be another woman's face staring right into the camera. I feel like it's just a coincidence that whatever the trees are doing in the background they just so happen to make what looks like a distorted face with a sunken nose or face she looks as though she has long dark hair and is wearing a white dress it the coincidence is a crazy it does look like that but it might be i don't know the colors are a bit different than what looks like the rest of the trees around 
In the description, the poster noted that the figure actually looks like their mother-in-law's deceased mother. Gee. A detail that certainly makes the photo extra creepy. For real. While the mysterious ghostly face seems rather obvious, several viewers believe that this could simply be a case of pareidolia. Our mind's tendency to see familiar patterns or figures in random objects. That's what I was talking about. So that's the... I've heard these, um, these channels mention that term before, but I need to kind of embed it. What's that? Pareidolia? They think that the impression of the woman's face has been created by the trees in the background. That's what I think. But I could be wrong. Still, the fact that the uploader believes that the face resembles a deceased relative does lend credence to the idea that this image could show something paranormal. Facts. That's weird. So what do you think? Ghost? Or is it just our eyes playing tricks on us? Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Got some boogies. I'm about to say, ah! Scared me. It's just Chris Brown. Is singer Chris Brown an alien shapeshifter? That seems to be the question suggested by this TikTok video. What was supposed to be footage of several players warming up for a celebrity basketball game soon reignited the theory that shapeshifting reptilian humanoids could be hiding among us. In the clip posted to TikTok by Dunkademics, we see Chris Brown as he attempts. Hey, he, he was looking good until he realized that he couldn't get high enough. Ah, he was like, oh snap, I'm not black enough. <sighs> Just to dunk a basketball. <sighs> However, as he does so, something weird happens. It's just a Take joke. A look. Yeah, his hand missed the ball. He, he's not a baller. He's not a baller like that. He can play, but he can't play. You know what I'm saying? He, can't, he ain't on no NBA level. Blow that down, it looks like his fingers grow longer. They didn't grow longer, they just... <laughs> I've, look, if you've ever played with a basketball and played around and tried to do different dunks and different stuff, you've done this before. His hand just was past the ball. See, it rolled past the ball. And then he had to cup it. At one point, it even looks like his hand moves through the basketball. Now I got to get a basketball or something. I ain't even got no ball. Look, where I'm going to get a ball from? I got to go to a whole other closet to find a ball outside. Nope. I'm going to see what's up right here. Tell me it's a ball in here. Tell me it's a ball in here. Dang, it ain't no ball in here. Well, I got a dang old ball. I got a bowling ball, but I ain't about to use that. That's heavy. I guess I'll use a hat. This is what happened, y'all. This is what happened. He was trying to reach. This is what happened. He was trying to reach in his hand. He was trying to grab palm the ball so he could get ready to dunk it. But he's not that skilled, so his hand went past the ball like that. And he ended up palming like that and bringing it around. Sorry, that's not a ball, but that's exactly what happened. I've done it several times with basketball. See? Notice, too, that as he runs to the side after he lands, it looks as though he might be attempting to hide his hand behind his back. While some viewers seem certain that this footage proves that Chris Brown is indeed a shapeshifter, Others think that the singer's apparent elongated fingers can be explained another way. They suggest that it's merely a trick of perspective and that nothing unusual is actually happening. Literally what it is. Literally what it is. It's perspective, nothing happened. Like, whoever whoever thought that that was un, un, unreal <laughs> or unnatural have never done sports. <laughs> While the idea that shape-shifting lizard people have infiltrated human society is certainly strange, many individuals actually believe that these creatures currently run the governments of several countries and even control important world events. This theory was popularised by English ex-footballer and sports commentator David Icke. He believes that an interdimensional race of reptilian beings have seized control of Earth 
and that a genetically modified human-alien hybrid race of shape-shifting beings currently manipulate world events to keep humans in fear. Ike believes that these aliens then feed off the resulting negative energy. Interestingly, in a video interview posted by Fuse on YouTube, Chris Brown admitted that he actually is into ancient aliens. With a little bit more thought process, like you can see. I mean, I am too, but that don't make me an alien. I love watching ancient aliens. See on the album cover, it's like a code, it's like a, right. but that's an encryption for my fans. I wanted to do something different because, you know, I'm into ancient aliens and, you know, I like learning, I like being stuff that's other than what everybody expects, you know right. what I'm saying? So, so could this be a sign that Chris Brown is indeed some type of otherworldly being with shape-shifting abilities? Look, don't make me show y'all my shape-shifting abilities. I'm an ancient alien too. Perhaps let's not rush to any conclusions. <laughs> Things that lurk in the darkness have always been the subject of scary tales the world over. It seems that the idea that something could be standing just out of sight fills many with feelings of dread. In this brief clip uploaded to TikTok by elkakui.tv, we see just such a situation. The description claims that the footage was captured by a man who began hearing strange noises coming from his backyard. Thinking that a mountain lion was responsible, he took his camera out into the darkness to investigate. What he captured will likely give you chills. Take a look. Oh yeah, we did see that before. Yo, whatever first, that was looked weird and real. The figure is difficult to make out. However, we are eventually able to get a decent look at the culprit. It looked like it blinked. <laughs> it looked like the it don't got no nose. The figure stands still for a few moments before quickly moving out of view. Is a oh, he sees me. Wait, I'm out. The camera holder pans around and is able to spot it once more. Yo, that looked like it might be real. It looked like it's maybe a... I don't want to say deformed human being, but maybe you can use that word. It's like they might be living in the woods somewhere like they were abandoned or left alone same thing at this point the horrifying figure seems to look right at the camera it appears as though its beady eyes are completely white with no evidence of a pupil at all it's weird i mean usually you don't see the pupils of eyes or creatures or animals that eyes light up at night when light hits them once the footage was was uploaded to TikTok, viewers attempted to explain the sighting. Everything from a witch to a troll and even Bigfoot were suggested. While a definitive answer is yet to be found, whatever the outcome, it might be a good time for the camera holder to consider a move. Honestly, I don't know if I would say witch or... No, I definitely wouldn't say Bigfoot, but a witch or a troll? Maybe I would go towards a troll, but I thought trolls would be smaller. One that's very far away from whatever was seen lurking in his backyard. Man, I used to wish trolls were real. Remember that little troll cartoon thing? I don't remember what those were made out of. It wasn't a cartoon, but it was some type of animatronics. I think. I just love the troll movies. <laughs> Most of the time when mysterious lights or orbs appear in photographs, they're usually white or yellow. However, in this image, posted to Reddit by user Tumbling Tumbleweed, their casual snap appears to have captured a strange glowing green shape. In the photo, we can see a man standing in the middle of the frame examining his camera. Behind him is what the Redditor claims to be an abandoned church. Just above the man is a large green light. Weird. What's particularly spooky is that the Redditor claims there were no lights present when they took the photo. Really? Even the abandoned church was supposedly dark at the time. One theory posted by a fellow Redditor suggested that the strange object may have actually have been ball lightning, an unexplained phenomenon usually associated with thunderstorms. 
However, these luminescent ball-shaped objects are said to last considerably longer than a normal flash of lightning. It now, I don't know. I'm confused. Like, why is that green and why is the foreground red? There really were no other lights present and this certainly could have been a possibility. Of course, the idea that the strange light could have been a ghostly orb was also mentioned, a topic that often polarizes the paranormal community. That would be cool. So I feel like they would have saw it though, with how prominent this potential ghostly orb is. I feel like they would have saw that. Maybe after the photo was taken, they would have saw that. But if it went right back to being dark, maybe not. Maybe that orb was only lit as bright as it is when the flash went off. But no, that can't be the case either because the background is being lit by this orb. And they proclaimed the background was pitch black, this church, before the picture was taken and after the picture was taken. So I'm calling cap because the math don't add up. A few things being captured in this photo. Unfortunately, without more information to go by, the origins of this green anomaly will have to remain a mystery, at least for the time being. I heard a car. While at work, surely one of the last things one wants to experience is something paranormal. Unfortunately, for one employee at the Botanical Extraction Laboratory, Extract Lab. Oh, wait, no, that bottle is sliding from the middle of these bottles. That can't be. It seems a supernatural figure may have decided to make its presence known. Since the footage was released on YouTube, the video has received hundreds of thousands of views, as well as much speculation. In the clip, we see an employee working in the lab. For a few seconds, all seems normal when suddenly something strange happens. Watch. Yo. It looked like some ragu sauce too. What a is jar that? jar falls from the table as if pushed by some sort of unseen force. What was in there? The man immediately stops what he's doing and begins to inspect the mess. He's then seen leaving the room. <laughs> he's like, uh... That was not supposed to happen. None of those a were few near the edge. Later, he returns, this time with a senior employee. He's like, those were not near the edge. And then he comes back and the dude's like, what did you do, man? He's like, no, it wasn't me. He was like, I was pouring this liquid stuff on this ball. And this freaking jar slid off the table and fell on the ground. It was, it's like, dude, how did that slide off the table? It was, I don't know. It, do, it wasn't me. The pair enter the room and appear to discuss the strange situation. He's like, get out of here. You're Understandably, fired. This he fired him. He fired him now. He probably like, just go. Just leave. You Take the rest of the day off. And your employee seems annoyed and dismisses the worker from the room. I don't know. Their, their antics were, seem a bit staged to me, but I could be wrong. A few minutes pass, then the employee comes back with a bucket and mop and enters the room and begins cleaning up the mess. I'm assuming that's the same dude. However, as they do, another jar on the counter suddenly shifts forwards. The bewildered employee quickly reaches for the jar and pushes it back into place. And this is where the mysterious footage ends. Ah. Uh... That's crazy, it stops right there. To say there's a debate in the video's comments section would be putting it lightly. I'm Many sure. viewers seem sure that the video is faked. They point to the fact that the workers appear to be overacting for the camera. That's what I said too. Get out of here, yeah, yeah, yeah. Overacting, come on. Yeah, get out of here! You just go! Yeah. That look like some overacting for real. Look at him, look at him. Look at the guy on the left. The supervisor. The camera. <laughs> look at the supervisor. Look get out of here! And go! Yeah. They all also find it hard to believe that an employee would clean up the mess without picking up the pieces of glass first. Factual. There's so much wrong with this. Like, I was gonna share with you guys like the process that I was taught working retail when having to clean up spills like this. We had this 
and I'm I bet they would have it too. We had this um this powder type of stuff that would absorb liquid that you would pour all around the outside of a spill just like this and then you would use a broom to sweep the pile together so you would sweep this powder liquid or this powder stuff into the liquid around the liquid and it would absorb all of it and then you would be able to put it in a trash can or put it into a bag of its own um, not just sweep it up with a mop like this or mop it up. Several canine viewers also noted that there appears to be a blink in the footage just before the man begins to mop the floor. This could indicate a cut in the video and perhaps that it's been tampered with. Still, the video's yeah, description suggests that it does indeed show a real incident, one that was supposedly under investigation at the time. Furthermore, it also states that the original employee who witnessed the event apparently claimed that he thought it was a ghost. So what do you think? Does this video really show paranormal activity? Or could it simply be a marketing stunt designed to garner the business some extra attention? Before we take a look at some bizarre footage captured in a backyard, remember to caress that subscribe button and then tickle that little bell icon there and turn on all channel notifications. That way you'll be in the loop every time we drop our scary and mysterious videos. While this video is almost certainly not of paranormal origin, it does show a sight that would likely shock most people. In the short clip shared to Instagram by Velvet Horror, we see a blanket swirling around in the air. Yo. It done, caught, its it done caught a little tornado. Bizarre dance for some time as if caught in a mini tornado. Yeah, that's what I said. It just could be some... Jokingly, it seems the uploader has added the music from the swirling bag scene. Out. Yo, it has to be a little tornado because I would think maybe there's some strong forceful winds that are just kind of being pushed into this corner um but no when you look at the other leaves on the ground in in the foreground they're not moving at all it's like there's just a little concentrated tornado right here and that cover or whatever that is oh wait i'm sorry <laughs> i didn't realize i was right there that just so happened to still be in the middle while that's occurring under the film american beauty My in bad. an attempt to provide some levity to what is a very bizarre sight of course, the most obvious explanation for this video is that a gust of wind has lifted the blanket into the air. Still, seeing this in real life would be rather unsettling. What would you do if you were walking by and happened to see this happening? Let me know down below. Another one. Now, if you want... Y'all, yeah, we made it to the end. Shout out to Slap Ham. Got some interesting stuff going on here. But y'all know what time it is. If you like this video, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned for more. As always, you can find the link to the original down in the description box below if you haven't already. Make sure you follow your boy right here on the gram and Twitter at Artic Kicks. And I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. See ya!